from being stuck with endless amounts of strange boxes in your inventory to finding out that Jagex would rather protect funny people over players who wear ranged equipment from magic, we count down 10 more interesting facts about RuneScape. Number 10. I mentioned this in one of my earlier videos way back, but I guess you could say that this is sort of like an extension to it. When you use a raw herring on the tree in Lumbridge, it says that this is not the mightiest tree in the forest, as a reference to the movie Monty Python and the Holy Grail. But did you know that if you use the herring on the Grand Tree in RuneScape, it will also tell you it cannot be done. And this is a reference to the part in the movie where King Arthur is tasked with the challenge, but he states that it can't be done too. Number 9. If you examine a snake on RuneScape, it will tell you, Snake? Snake! This is a reference to the Metal Gear Solid games. When you die in those games, you hear your friend yell, uh, actually, I'll just play it for you. Number 8. If you examine the floating book located within the Tower of Life in Artie, it will tell you, oh, 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 it's magic, and this is a reference to the popular 70s song by Pilot. Number 7. The random event NPC highwayman Rick Turpentine is a parody of Dick Turpin, a real highwayman from the 18th century, and this guy looks like a badass. Number 6. In 2005, whenever the mysterious old man would give you a strange box, the question wasn't a matter of what shape or number corresponds to whatever correct answer, but instead it used to be colored and ask you which shape is red, yellow, blue, or so on. It was actually a color-based random event, but they eventually removed this due to colorblind players' complaints. Number 5. Another reference from Monty Python and the Holy Grail is that the Fremenic Farseer helm in RuneScape sort of looks like the same helmet that Tim the Enchanter wore in the movie too. Number 4. Whenever you examine the item Wooden Spoon in RuneScape, it will tell you SPOON! And this is a direct reference to the old television series about the superhero The Tick, in which he's always yelling the word SPOON, which you can hear here. We must choose battle cries. You know, the cries we always emit just before leaping into battle. Oh, you mean like, not in the face, not in the face. Hmm, lacks force, chum. No, more like, like, uh... Spoon! Mm, I don't get it. Spoon! Look, I'm just a sidekick. Number three. Yet again, another reference to Monty Python in the Holy Grail. This one's actually kind of funny. Whenever you examine the Penance Queen within the Barbarian Assault minigame, it tells you, Run away, run away, and this is probably a reference to the scene from the movie whenever the knights are being attacked by a, uh, a bunny. Uh, just look for yourself. Number 2. Whenever you use the Contact NPC spell to contact Evil Dave, your player tells him, Build me an army worthy of Zamorak. And this is a reference to the movie Lord of the Rings, in which Sauron gives a similar command to Saruman in the movie which you can hear here. Number 1. For whatever reason, <laughs> Jester boots have a plus 5 magic defense bonus, yet snakeskin boots only give you plus 1 magic defense bonus. Try figuring that one out. That's it for this countdown, and if you know what I should be counting down next, post it in the comments and let's make it happen. Also, I'd just like to say that we've recently reached over 1 million views on the channel, and that's crazy, that blows my mind. So thank you guys for your continued support, even the haters, I will talk to you all later.